Aiden's son from 8390T. Today, I will show you how to make an X-Drive. These are the pieces you need to make the X-Drive before we start. After you get all of these pieces, let's start building. So first, when we're building, we need to build a wheel hub to, for this wheel. We need these four pins and put them on the wheel hub. And then you will put this aside because we need to put a metal shaft through it later. I'll come back to this. And then we will grab a 2x10 and a green motor shaft and put it in the middle. And then we will put three spacers on the green metal shaft. Then we would put uh, then we will put the wheel on like this. We would first put this piece on, then a shaft collar. Then we will put the whole wheel on for it to get extra supports. And then we will add another spacer and a washer. And then after we're done that, we'll just put this aside and we'll do this later. So then you need to grab four of these things and eight of these small extenders. You need to put two on each side of one of uh, these uh, connectors to give it extra length for what we're going to build. Now that we're done that, we will bring this back up. After you're done building all of these small pegs, we will put them on like this. But before we do that, we have to put a small pin in right about here, if my calculations are correct. Wait, let me check. Yeah, my calculations are correct. So you will put one on the bottom, on the bottom left corner. So, and then we'll put a, we'll put it in for each one, so we can put more support on it later to connect it. Are done that we will add another 2 by 10 on this in the middle to connect both of the sides <clears throat> now we are very close to almost finishing a quarter of it next we will put three standoffs we will grab three standoffs and we will put them in this order Then we will put a red motor shaft right here, and then a, a 24 tooth gear right here, a washer right here, and a small 12 tooth gear. Two more washers for the final remaining two gears, and then a 2 by 8 And then we will put five pins in here, like this, to add a two by five on it. Finally, we will add the engine. For the engine, we will put it a bit 
slanted, not directly on this beam, a little bit off, like in the middle. So we have to, so first try to, we have to try to make this flat, or to try to make these two align like this, so it's flat. So when we put it on later, it can just go in smoothly. So we have to first put it up in here, up in here, and a lot more pins. Now we will put the engine on. Now you see, now it now it will drive kind of like an X drive. And then we will grab these pieces that I grabbed earlier. And then we will first put this piece on this. There's a pin right here. And a piece right here. Next, we will we will place a pin here and another pin here. And then we would grab two more pins and do this exact thing on the other side. This is one of the this is the last few steps now. Now you will put these two bars on it to make it secure but, but before you put this beam on top of it you will put a connector looking like this and then you will put the 2 by 8 on it and now we're done putting a side of it and once you're done making a ha half of this <coughs> you need to make four you you can attach them all together with these 45 degree angle piece and it will look like this that one that i made earlier i added these extra bracing supports just to make it a bit stronger you can add them if you want and the reason i added bracing is to make it stronger i will flip it over to make it easier to for you guys see i added a bracing a cross leg bracing. You can add any type of bracing. Uh, if you're planning to use this in a competition, I recommend you add bracing or else it will just uh, fall apart. That's why you should use bracing. And after you add the cables and the bracing and the brain, we should try it out. Let's try. Actually, you need to write your own program to drive it. Yeah. Thanks for watching our video. I hope this inspired you a lot and good luck in this season. Please like and subscribe.